What is up guys, JT Anime Nerd here bringing you all the nerdy goodness. Today we continue my revision of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This uh, one part art in a multi part art, se art series uh, of my version of the DCEU slash Snyderverse. I recommend and you watch part one of the this video in order to gain some context X on what's been happening ink through the story. So without further ado, let's get into it. Meanwhile, Bruce visits Wayne Manor, a place that was burned down by the Joker during their first ever battle. Alfred tries to convey into Bruce not to go through with it, but Bruce believes that all that matters is to protect the future of the world from people like Superman. Back in Smallville, KG Beast kidnaps Clark's mother. Meanwhile in Gotham, Batman shines the bat signal, waiting for Superman as Batman is donning a new high-tech armor and has the kryptonite spear on standby. Lex Luthor then calls someone from um, the top up of a helipad ad from, Le from um, uh, LexCorp Tower, informing them that Batman has arrived. Meanwhile, KG Beast kidnaps Lois Lane, seemingly at the order of Lex Luthor. Lois is taken, then taken straight to Lex Luthor at the helipad. Lex asks Lois to forgive him as he's admired her and her fiery spirit for a good story for a long time. Lex then questions her about the discovery of the metal of the bullet she found, as well as tell tells her that her story about him will be like dust in the wind. Lex then explains how his path to Superman is the woman he loves, followed by one of Lex Luthor's men pushing Lois off the building. As Lois is falling, Superman arrives to save her and place her on the ground safely. Superman confronts Lex Luthor, only for Lex to reveal that he's captured his mother Martha Kent, which angers Superman. Lex then monologues about how Superman may has made society weak, and that he realized that the suffering abuse of his father, that if God is all-powerful, he cannot be all-good, and if he is all-good, then he cannot be all-powerful. Lex goes on to explain to Superman that his presence has weakened humanity and doesn't want them relying on false gods to ease their suffering. Lex then gives Superman the ultimate ultimatum, fight Batman to the death in Gotham or his mother will die. Lex also reveals that he intercepted Wallace's check X just to put Superman on Batman's radar, which also reveals that Lex Luthor or knows that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Not having much choice, Superman goes to Gotham, but not to fight Batman, but to plead for his help. Meanwhile, KG Beast and his men guard Martha and start a timer for how long Superman has to kill Batman. Lightning from the Kryptonian ship can also be seen in from the Daily Planet, with the Warrior Woman also noticing on TV. Superman tells Lois he, he has to go to Gotham, and that no one stay is good in this world. Meanwhile, the Warrior Woman looks at her computer, finding that Bruce sent her the data he took from Luther. The woman then looks at what Lex calls his metahuman research, and discovers the existence of a man with super speed, a man who can breathe underwater, and, and what appear, appears to be e, a dead person being reconfi reconstructed into a cyborg, it was created by a strange cybernetic bot. Back at Gotham, Batman waits for Superman while Lois gets a chopper from Perry in order to get to Gotham. Superman arrives and tries to talk to Batman, but his words fall on deaf ears as Batman takes every measure to defeat and kill Superman. In the middle of the battle, Superman still tries to talk to Bruce, but then Batman shoots a kryptonite smoke grenade at him, weakening Superman. Batman then taunts Superman about feeling fear, followed by Batman continuing to beat down on, on Superman. As the battle rages, both Batman and Superman continue to get the upper hand on each other, until Batman decides to use more kryptonite gas in order to beat Superman. After throwing Superman down a flight of stairs, Batman drags Superman and then throws him through the columns of the building they're fighting in. Batman expresses how while Superman may have been told by his parents that he was special, Batman was taught by his parents that the world only makes sense if you force it to. Lois then arrives at Gotham to find Superman. As Batman has Superman at his mercy and holds the kryptonite spear, he claims that Superman was never a god, he was never even a man. As Batman holds up the spear to kill Superman, Lois hits Batman's, Batman's face with a pipe, causing him to back up. Lois stands ready to fight for Superman to the death. Batman warns Lois to get out of the way so he can kill this thing, 
However, Lois proudly states that his name is Clark Kent, a boy raised on a small farm in Smallville, Kansas, whose only crime is wanting to help those he knows will always fear him. Batman yells for Lois to shut up and move, but she just keeps repeating herself proudly, enraging Batman. As Bruce begins to lose himself in anger, he then has a flashback of a young boy named Dick Grayson, who's holding a fearful man at gunpoint. Suddenly, Batman appears in between him and Dick's target, attempting to convince Dick that vengeance isn't the same as justice. Dick does everything he can to convince Batman to move, even threatens to shoot him, as the man and who's, who's, who's lying on the floor scared is the man who murdered his parents. But Batman speaks as Bruce for a moment, telling Dick that his parents would want him to live a life unconsumed by vengeance, untainted by, uh, by bloodshed. Batman states that while it's too late for him to escape the dark, Dick still has a chance to become the heart of Gotham, something Batman admits that he himself can never be. In the end, Batman hugs Dick while, while the fearful man still trembles in fear. We then see flat ashes of Dick's straining and eventual becoming of Robin, to which we then see them take on various criminals together. However, the ending flash forward shows a bloodied Robin with a flat Ash of the Joker, played by Jared Leto, laughing. The flat ash then, the flashes then end in the present, where Batman sees Lois as a reflection of himself trying to stop Robin from falling into the same path. Batman lo looks at the spear in hand, realizing what, what he has become, the very thing he was swore to never to become. This causes Batman to shed a tear. Angered at himself, Batman tosses the spear aside returning to becoming the symbol of hope that Gotham hadn't had in a long time. Meanwhile, people converge around the Kryptonian ship site as it continues to generate lightning, while KG Beast and his men prepare themselves to kill Martha as time is running out. Superman then relays everything to Batman, prompting the two to enter a truce and work together to stop Lex Luthor and save Superman's mother, Martha Kent. Batman promises that he'll save Martha, while Superman tends to let X at the Kryptonian ship. Alfred then informs Batman that KG Beast is in, in a warehouse near Gotham Port. Batman arrives via Batwing and attempts to deal with the groups of gunmen outside. Alfred then remotely controls the Batwing, letting Batman enter the warehouse, followed by Batman defeating the henchmen in what I describe as the best Batman fight scene in the world. As KG Beast and his, and his last man prepare for Batman's attack, Batman goes through the wall and... and, and, and and aims the last henchman's gun at KG Beast, but KG Beast holds a flamethrower at Martha, having the two of them reach an impasse. KG Beast warns Batman to drop the weapon, but Batman then decides to shoot the flamethrower's tank, instantly charging in order to cover Mar Arthur from the explosion. Meanwhile, Lois finds a place to hide the kryptonite spear where no one will find it. Lex then checks the timer, finding that Superman's time has run out, but is also disappointed to find that Superman had found a way out of the ultimatum as Superman arrives at the Kryptonian ship. Lex attempts to inform Superman of Martha's death, but finds that it's Batman on the other end of the line, confirming that his plan's just been thwarted. Lex admits that he's underestimated Superman, but he will not allow his existence to poison humanity's resolve any further. Superman claims that Le Lex has lo lost, but... lost, but... But Lex states that, that he doesn't know how to lose. Lex then explains that he doesn't and hate the sinner, only the sin, and that Superman's sin is existing. Lex Luthor then claims that if man cannot kill God, then the devil will do it. Just then, energy begins to radiate it from a cocoon within the command center of the Kryptonian ship, formed by the Z by, from Zod's body and Luthor's DNA. Lex then presents none other than what he calls Superman's Doomsday. As Doomsday looks upon Luther, he instantly attempts to kill him, but Superman stops Doomsday's fist. This intervention would lead to a battle between Superman and Doomsday, one that they would take to the city of Metropolis at Superman's statue. Doomsday then jumps to the top of LexCorp Tower after knocking Superman away. Just then, police converge retrieving Martha as the Batwing leaves to help Superman stop Doomsday. Meanwhile, the Warrior Woman is packing to leave Metropolis by plane, only to see the news report of Doomsday attacking Metropolis. 
As authorities attempt to deal with Doomsday, he retaliates, and his powers begin to evolve to a point where Doomsday can unleash an energy surge powerful enough to damage the city. As Batman is relayed the info from Alfred about Doomsday, the warrior woman, now identified as Miss Prince, leaves the plane for a seemingly unknown reason. Back in Metropolis, Superman then attempts to take Doomsday into space. Meanwhile, the government, by order of the president, gets ready to launch a nuclear missile at both Superman and Doomsday, much to Swanwick and his second's protest. The missile is launched as Superman takes Doomsday higher and higher into space, ultimately getting hit by the nuclear warhead. Batman and the people of Metropolis see the, see the explosive sight in the sky, then and see something drop down into Stryker's Island. The government sees no sign of Superman, but assumes that Doomsday died on impact, a thought that would be immediately vanquished the moment Doomsday stands up again. Doomsday would then begin to transform into his comic-accurate appearance, beginning to radiate energy, as well as shoot a heat-heat vision beam greater than Superman's. Swanwick realizes that with every attack, it only makes Doomsday stronger, declaring Doomsday unkillable. Batman appears on Stryker's Island, catching Doomsday in, in his sights, who then blasts the Batwing with heat vision, knocking Batman out of the sky. Bruce then relays to Alfred that the Kryptonite Spear is the only weapon that can kill Doomsday, and so attempts to lead Doomsday back to Gotham. Meanwhile, as Superman floats through space, the sun begins to shine on him, revitalizing him with solar energy. Back at Gotham, Batman does all he can to avoid Doomsday until he brings down the Batwing. As Doomsday Ace heat vision goes for Batman, a familiar -er person protects him from the blast. The person is revealed to be none other than Miss Prince, who in truth is none other than Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman uses the shockwave from her bracers to push Doomsday back, followed by Superman pushing Doomsday away into a building. Just then, Lois then realizes that Doomsday is Kryptonian, and so return returns to the abandoned building in order to retrieve the kryptonite spear she hid. Batman relays the info to Wonder Woman just as Lois searches for the spear. Wonder Woman states that Doomsday feeds on energy, with Superman stating that Doomsday is from another world. His world. Wonder Woman claims she's killed things from other worlds before, prompting the funny moment between Superman and Batman, who both thought she was, th was with the other person. The Trinity then readies themselves for battle as Doomsday unleashes his more destructive energy causing Lois to be trapped under the water where the spear is. Wonder Woman and Superman deal with Doomsday while Batman and attempts to locate the spear. Meanwhile, Lois tries to find, find a way out of her trapped underwater situation as Superman and Doomsday clash heat vision beams, with Doomsday coming out on top. Just as Lois is about to drown, Superman saves her in time amongst the rubble, and then attempts to retrieve the spear here himself despite his weakness toward it. Batman then evades the, and attempts to evade Doomsday eh, with his rappling hook alone. Uh, Superman then floats up to the top of the water, weakened by the spear. Superman looks on as Wonder Woman struggles to defeat Doomsday despite her cleaving his arm off. After knocking Wonder Woman away, Wonder Woman away Doomsday then forms a spike weapon where his right hand used to be. Superman then tells Lois that he loves her, making Lois realize what he's about to do, Ooh, much to her protest. Superman declares that Lois is his world, followed by him taking the kryptonite spear and charging at Doomsday, his cape getting ripped off by the spy stationary pipe he quickly passed. Wonder Woman attempts to hold Doomsday with her lasso of Hestia, followed by Batman shooting his last kryptonite gas bomb at Doomsday, weakening him in the process. Despite the pain, Superman drives the spear straight into Doomsday's chest, but Doomsday retaliates with his hand spike, driving it into the Superman's heart. Superman then decides to push himself straight through Doomsday's weapon in order or to drive the kryptonite spear straight through Doomsday. The pain of the spot like through Superman's chest causing him to echo a loud death shriek before the two die simultaneously. Batman, Lois, and Wonder Woman approach the deceased Clark Kent, with Batman crossing his arms in respect. Batman then lowers Clark's body down as Lois holds him and mourns the love of her life giving his head one last kiss. Batman approaches the scene, witnessing the death of a hero. Superman's cape floats in the wind, cementing that would be forever known as the death of Superman. Army men then enter the Kryptonian ship, only to find Lex Luthor in the presence of an image of a horned figure holding three distinct boxes. 
foreshadowing a dark event to come. Back in prison, Lex Luthor is placed in a cell. Meanwhile, papers of Superman's death are printed, with the death of Clark Kent also being reported as a casualty of the battle, as well as Lex Luthor's arrest, putting Glexcorp in an odd position. We see the city of Metropolis mourn for Superman. Shops and businesses is closed for people in memoriam of his death. Back in Smallville, the funeral of Clark Kent Kent has passed by. Perry in attendance and Martha Lee eaving a picture of Jonathan Kent beside the body of her son. Martha then approaches Lois in Clark's room, giving her a package from Clark Ark that was meant to be a surprise. Lois opens the package to find an engagement ring, realizing that Clark Ark was gonna uh, ask him to marry, ask her to marry him. Lois puts the ring on, proving her devotion and love to Clark. In both Metropolis and Small Smallville, the the funeral was enter or, or their ceremony, with Metropolis having a funeral for Superman, and with Sw uh, with Swanwick in attendance, while Smallville has a funeral for Clark Kent. Superman is given a soldier's funeral, and a custom casket with a symbol engraved on it. After the funeral, Martha discovers that an anonymous donor paid for everything, not knowing that it was Bruce Wayne. Meanwhile, as Lois looks down at Clark's grave, Bruce looks on from a distance with Miss Prince joining him. Bruce expresses how he failed Clark in life, but doesn't want to fail him in death, and so asks Miss Prince to help him find other metahumans like her, despite Miss Prince stating that they might not want to be found. Bruce, however, believes that they'll fight due to Superman's inspiration. Miss Prince then and expresses how she turned her back on mankind, believing that a united world is impossible due to humanity's true nature. While Bruce explains the complexity of humanity and its true potential to make a better world, the people of Metropolis stand at Superman's memorial, now where his destroyed statue sits. The memorial states that if you seek this monument, then look around you. Pr Miss Prince then asks why Bruce said that at the metahuman will have to have, they find will have to fight, with Bruce replying that it's just a feeling. Miss Prince then ta takes her leave. Back in Metropolis Prison, guards inform Luther that the warden wants to speak with him, and as Luther prepares to be restrained, he notices the light going out. Luther then turns to find the Batman in front of him. Batman attempts to warn Lex Luther that he'll be watching him, but Lex retorts by stating that for some reason, he's been deemed insane, not even fit to stand trial despite his calm composure. Batman then reveals that he's arranged Lex to be transported to Arkham Asylum in Gotham, with Batman stating that he's still got friends there. However, Lex then gives Batman a warning about a coming threat that he learned about on the Kryptonian ship. Batman then brands the wall, refusing to fall into his path of hatred any longer. Luthor then shouts to a now missing Batman that he wants war, and he's coming, and, the, and that once again, Superman's existence is what, brought, is what has brought them. Back at Luthor's house, house, police come to find his demons and angels painting upside down, depicting demons coming from the sky, foreshadowing the looming threat to come. As Bruce leaves the graveyard, Lois places the last bit of soil on Clark's coffin, followed by her taking her leave. Back at the coffin, the soil pieces begin to float, signifying a coming miracle. A post credit scene then plays, showing a decimated planet with those insect-like soldiers surrounding every corner. Suddenly, a particular ringing sound is heard, catching the attention of the insect soldiers. Just then, the sound travels to what appears to be a pile of bodies of aliens, with a couple of green lanterns in the pile. We then see the turned back of a familiar horned individual. As the horned individual turns to reveal his monstrous face, he looks on with su a surprised expression, stating that they have finally awakened. And we have that. with that, we've come to the conclusion of my version of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and put down in the comment section below on what you guys thought of this Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice revision. Also, don't forget to check out my merch store on Etsy. The link will be in the description and pinned comment section comment down below. With all that said and done, I'm JT Anime. I'll check you guys later. And hashtag Restore the Snyderverse.